Zach, because I talk about him. All right, who's taking who? Yeah, do they know that we were saying he was the best pitcher in the league before day one? Beery knows. <laughs> Beery knows. All right, I'll get off. I'll get off, Justin. Don't worry. What do you mean? Bullwinkle. What's up, Jude? Jude, are you going to the National? In your backyard. What's up, Ducky? Justin's out of his way. Yes. Go back to F1. <laughs> Go back to F1. Go back to F1, Justin. F1. How's F1 doing? I haven't heard much about it. I don't know. <laughs> Justin knows the market. I guess that's a no. Somebody say it, team. Julio's the hottest player in the history of the industry, right? He hasn't played since the Derby. Why? Chris. He got hurt at the derby? In the derby. No, he did. Yeah, bad. He hit too many home runs. He was he was swinging too hard or something. That's ridiculous. Yeah, it's not good. Any Julio updates? He didn't play all series. They got swept. I don't know, Bullwinkle. What's up, John Park? Nice to meet you. I'm Cblez. <laughs> what? I know, he sees you ripping your shirt. You guys are I hope you like the content. Most of it is sports cards. A little bit of gym. Negative. That's good, negative. I got YouTube videos too. Check out the YouTube videos. I talk more in them. It's more, you can get to see more on YouTube. Where's your phone? Is there Wi Fi in here? I don't know. Yeah, well, yeah, there has to be Wi Fi. Why aren't you on it? I don't know. How do you get in? Ducky. Yes, exactly. 80% sports cards, 20% fun. I don't know what the Wi-Fi is. Is that on? Oh, it's got it. I don't know the password, but... We fill it. We have to fill it. Bullwinkle, I'm ripping 86 Fleer and 03 Tops Chrome at the National on Saturday. Oh, uh, part of the whatnot thing. I mean, that's going to be. I've never ripped 86 Chrome. What? 03 Tops Chrome seems more exciting. Oh, 86 Fleer. Yeah, Jordan. Like, imagine you see like a black refractor in 03. There's like, multiple Jordans for, for box. Is there? Yeah. Is that guaranteed? <laughs> James Wood? Is that the Padre kid? Yeah. I'm not buying him. <laughs> I'm not buying him. Three Jordans a box? What? How much is a box? Why, why, don't, why doesn't he want me to buy anything? There's a lot there. He's just talking about your Bowman history. My Bowman history is amazing. I've made a, lot, I've made a living off of it. Chad all. used to have a red Julio. People Shh. forget. <laughs> People forget. PGS 9, 5, 10. Yeah. What is that worth now? 400? I don't even know. Probably not that much. I had a red Julio. Nobody could have a worse experience buying a card and it going up to a price than that. But you know how much I paid no, for it? Whoever you bought it from, that's it. He had the worst of it. 3500 Yeah, that's insane. Not that one. I didn't sell that one. We're going to be sitting here with the packs open. That's what it looks like. 
I've done very well with Bowman. I was on Julio Rodriguez when the product came out. Yeah, well, I'll say the math. Just remember Austin Martin and Poisson. I bought it for 3500 Someone pulled a Luciano Red and a Julio Red in the same box. No way. I bought both of them for like 7 k <laughs> And then I graded both of them and I got 9 fives on both. So, Ball Bay. I did collect Herder. 105 wall. Let's do deals. All I know is that Sandy Alcantara is the best pitcher in the game right now. And that's a fact. Yeah, nobody argues that. Anymore. That is a fact. The Herder Super Collector just popped up. What's so, up, Wall B? It's been a minute. Justin, it was in the same box. The Luciano Red and the Julio Red. That's the best Bowman box ever. Pulled at Legacy Sports Card. Who else, is wa who else wants a deal? We're doing deals on the last couple. What's going on, Walt? Cease? You think Cease is, is the best? Crushing? Cease? He's trying to say Dylan Cease is better than Sandy. That's fine. That's the only other somewhat acceptable Name answer. another. Does he throw 101 with movement no. on his fastball Cease in both is nasty, directions? Though. He can't be better than Sandy. Yes, Curta. Red. Red autos of Julio and Luciano. That was probably right when that product was. Yes. Released. I sold like seven Julio autos for like 15K. Like six months after that. One of them being the red. <laughs> I made a lot of money on it though. What are you time. saying, was, Lonnie? Was, yeah, what, what is he tough? He obviously hasn't watched the game this year. Wow. <laughs> Look at Karim spreading the love. Yankees for Kareem. <laughs> Can we filler it now? Chew, that's a strategy that eliminates risk that I like doing. You just buy them up. Mm -hmm. Once they you, get the yeah, call. you don't remember the ones that busted. Exactly. Like, Holiday or Jones? You Sneal Diaz. I made a lot of money on him. Yeah, you don't. He was big. Probably Jones, but I don't. It seemed like the Orioles took Holiday to have more money later in the draft. I don't know. It seems situational. Kareem. Kareem, where are you? Kareem, where are you? He's here. He's definitely here. All right. We're going to fill her it. Yeah, some teams go quick. You're in there, Kareem. You're in there. You're by brace now. Karim's not allowed, he's not allowed in Bless One to spend. From himself. Or else he has to pay. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> Look at Jags with 125 in the room. How are we filling these three? I knew this was going to happen. I knew this was going to happen. You guys told me we'd be able to fill it. We need someone to just kill. Where are late night Bowman guys? Like Guy, where's Guy? Kershaw got destroyed today. They're trying to say this guy's better than Sandy. No, I don't think anyone was even saying that. He literally got lit up. <laughs> I don't know, it's ridiculous. The deal on the Pirates is 90. Somebody asked me what the deal on the Cubs is.
Yeah, but we're talking about the player that should have started the All Star game, and the MLB cheated Sandy Alcantara. That's the way I see it. Right? What does that mean? Just another Jose Fernandez. Watch <laughs> yourself over there, Bullwinkle. Look the Cubs, the 160 for the Cubs. Look at the numbers. Yeah, Nestor Cortez does it for one inning. And he doesn't have the command. Nestor Cortez fell off. He doesn't have the command that Sandy has. It's funny because like they're trying to bring up arguments, but it's all wrong. It's on the Marlins. Look, look at this. This is all you have to know. He leads the whole league in war. <laughs> yes, Lonnie. There you go. Thank you. Thank you, Lonnie. Wait, but do they count Otani hitter and pitcher? Yeah, offense, def- or offense, and then like how that can't be right. That's right. Because that was that's what we were saying earlier too. That Judge is a higher WAR than Otani. How is that possible? I don't know. I don't know. You're telling me Max Fried is that much of a better pitcher than Otani? Yeah, I don't know. According to WAR. That's, that's but that's why, right. that's why also we were saying war is spewy. It's spewy when you pitch and hit. One, 135, Jimmy. Jimmy. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. But if you look at the list, it, it kind of makes sense. Like, It makes no sense when, when it comes to Otani. Right, him doesn't make sense. Nico Horner? What's happening, Jimmy? He got one ring. Damon was ripping Prism, and he, he got like a third year silver. Of a Rui. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. It doesn't matter, though. We're talking about this season. Kershaw's not the best pitcher in the NL. Yeah, no. Kershaw is... No one's arguing that Kershaw's a Hall of Famer. That's why he started the All-Star game in his hometown, because he's a Hall of Famer. We're talking about the All-Star game, the player that should have started. I don't think any pitcher will do what Sandy did this year, though, for a long, long time. That man went 15 starts in a row of seven innings or more. I don't think people actually like pay attention to like what he's doing. Yeah, no. I don't think they 15 do. starts in a row of seven innings or more. That that won't happen. Talk about records that probably won't be broken. He's probably going to start on Friday next week. Take a take a little bit of a watch. Yeah, he is. He throws 101 miles per hour, and you don't know which direction it's going to go. And it moves. of Dooney. It moves a lot. Right? Yeah. You're right. Right. <laughs> It's insane. That's all I did today. Sat there in bed and watched Sandy pitch. And then when the Marlins hit, I changed the channel. I think it's supposed to be the best pitcher, but since they changed it to it not mattering, then that's why. That's probably why. You know what I mean? Well, like the best pitcher in the AL started. No, but it doesn't matter for like home field in the All Star in the World Series anymore. Yeah, no, if I it know. did, then that that would be ridiculous. Right, if it did. Do they, Mason? I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah, I would say DeGrom and Sandy. I'm with that. They're similar, too. Auto Valera. Nice hit for the Guardians. There you go, Walt. Nobody eats up Sandy. Like, what is he? No, they don't. Not this year. He has a 1.81. His worst star was opening day. Pink of Escato. If he doesn't pitch, yeah, Fernando. Tatis. If he doesn't pitch eight innings, it's like a disappointment. No, seven. Like today oh, was a seven to lock. Today was a disappointment. No, he didn't go seven today. I thought it was a lock. He had seventy-five through six. If he the, goes I mean, seven, you're not like it's not like you're happy. It's like yeah, okay, normal. Yeah. If he goes six, you're upset. Yeah, no, I know. If he goes eight, it's like yeah. 
Good, good game today. Purple out of Luis Gonzalez. <laughs> I bet on Sandy every day, every time he pitches. <laughs> yeah, but Vegas is realizing it was minus 175 today. Oh, yeah, because against the Pirates. De La Cruz. It's getting tough to bet on Sandy, though, considering the Marlins don't score. And that's the thing, too. His record doesn't look that good, but he's on one of the worst hitting teams in the league. His record still looks solid, though. It's like 9-4 and four, or like yeah, something nine three. like that. Fractor Diaz. Wow, that's a, that must have paid nice. Benny printed. Benny. Because usually his strikeout line isn't that high. Who does he play next? I don't even know. Usually I know the Marlins whole schedule. I thought you're done watching. Well, I watch... Yes, today Blade made his debut and Sandy pitched. I had to watch. Blade was bad. And he's two for four with a double. So why are you selling him? Because he was two for four with a double. Mets at home. That's free money. <laughs> yeah, they'll be they'll be dogs too. Against the Mets, he's pitching against Scherzer. That's no so way. easy. That's no so way. easy. <laughs> wow. They're not gonna be dogs. Come on. That's. That's actually after the Mets play the Yankees, too. That's like a letdown series for them. They're definitely going to be dogs if Scherzer's pitching. Let's bet the house on that. Yeah, we'll be in First East. five. We'll be in Atlantic City. We should do first five, though. <laughs> wow, Jude is salty about the Jeter argument. <laughs> What's the argument? Just that he's overrated. He's he, underrated. He probably won't, Jude. He's so underrated. Cheater? Yeah. Well, there you guys go. What are you talking about? Doesn't he have a lifetime average of like over 300? I don't know. I don't know what his lifetime I'm average is. I think it's like 302. Seablez votes for Jeter. Auto of Watson for Steve. He hit 310 for his career. You know how insane that is? Steve! To 499, Khalil. That's massive. Khalil. He hit 310. Maybe he's good. How many people hit 310? More than you think. I'd say like 15 guys per year, something like that, 20 guys. Oh, you're saying per year? And he's doing it for a career. How many rings does he have? Five. He was the best player on five five rings. Wander. Pink of sheets. I mean, no. You could have some numbered non-autos. Blue of Jimenez. The Jays. I think Jeter's underrated. Curdo. Really? I feel like not many people think Jeter's underrated. You either think he's, like, really good. He was, like, the clutchest player in the league. Like, when you needed a hit, you wanted him up there. Like, who can you say that about today? You're a, you grew up a Yankee fan. It doesn't matter. No, it does. That's Because that's what 90% of the people in the chat... That's the thing, they were Yankee fans. Yeah, because you actually understand it when you're a Yankee fan. Like, he was like the clutchest guy. And I respect it. You stick up for your guys. If you hit 310, that's absurd. <laughs> How many people in their career hit over 300 in, like, the modern era? I don't know. I don't think it's a lot. You just can't say he's underrated, though. No, I think he's people say he's like the best shortstop ever. It's just like not true. Yeah, because of other factors. It's not just about the pure numbers. Otto Vaughn. He was the leader of the Yankees. Yes. That which made him better. Of course it does. Yeah. He's the leader of a team that won. He's like the leader of the Warriors, but it's the Yankees. Like they're winning championships. 
That's why he's underrated. Yeah, he made plays that no one else made. The flip. I know about the flip. Yeah, that play was insane. He comes out of nowhere. He also, like, they used to hit it, like, deep in the hole at short, and, like, he would get it. Yeah, the jump throw. Yeah, like, like he, that was the thing, though. It's like, he, what do you he didn't have the range. What are you it's talking like, the, about? The other shortstops, they just got to that ball without needing to You're do talking that. about the modern era. This feet. was 20 years ago. No, yeah, the, 20 years ago. No more Garcia Parra, for example. Jeter didn't miss anything. He won gold gloves. <laughs> Auto of her nays. You're just a hater. I am a Jeter hater. This is absurd. I let that be known before all, any of this. Tucky, I, I don't know. <laughs> no, no credentials. Exactly, Benny. He's knocking a guy who hits 310. Like, who hits 310 I'm anymore? I'm not knocking hitting for 310. No one hits 310. I respect a pure hitter more than most. Another? Purple Polanco. Almost another. Thank you, Anthony. I respect Jeter. There's only like 150 guys ever who've hit 300 for their career. See, isn't it fun to dig into the numbers? There's only 150, and a lot of them are from like the old, old days. Yes, actually. I was able to sell my Abisal Garcia a lot today for 50 bucks. Couldn't believe it. He's one of the best modern day hitters of all time. All these guys are old. He's one of the best modern day hitters? If we're talking about average, which is the most important thing. No, average is not the most important thing. I think it is. Tell that to the Juan Soto supporters. <laughs> Tell that to the Soto supporters! <laughs> Because Jeter's getting a lot of hype right now because of the documentary. No, I, today we just like randomly started talking about. I don't even remember exactly how it came up. We went two hours without doing a break, just debating. It's a Marlin break. Third auto for the Marlins. Polanco. OPS is the most important. It is funny. Just because, like, I argue that sometimes. I like Soto and then. All the guys come out and they're like, oh, it's OPS. But then you talk about, like, you want to use the stats to your advantage whenever you third have your advantage, you know? Blue Shimmer of Waddle. There's no stats to no advantages. I mean, Jeter's clearly underrated. Like, if you're talking about Jeter, you're going to talk about his leadership and his average. If you're talking about Yeah, Pools, because no one's in a class of his leadership. There's yeah. no player in the league today that's, that's even close. That's why I think it's just such a discrepancy. People either think he's so good or so overrated. It's like... Why is Draymond Why is Draymond so good? Because he plays with Steph. He's a leader. Because he plays with Steph. No, he's the glue. Ask Mayo why is Draymond good. I'm telling you, no one is in the caliber. Jeter's of, career of, of, war was seventy. No one's a leader like him. Seventy-one. No, he quit, Doug. You can't name any leader who's like even in his ballpark. In the last, like, 30 years. Buster Posey. No. What? The Giants were a dynasty. It's, but he wasn't, like, the leader. It was Bumgarner. <laughs> Bumgarner was hitting dingers. Pink of Cabrera. Yeah, Brady, you could say. I'm talking baseball, though. In baseball, there's no one that's even close. But, I mean... Yeah, no, I, I mean, that's just like... In, but in that matters. 
for Dugo to, but how are you going to like measure that when you're comparing him to other hey, players? He's in the class by himself. Right. That's but, what I'm trying to tell when you. That's we why arguing, he's underrated. When we were arguing Pujols versus Jeter, I was saying if you put Pujols on that team with that lineup, it makes him better. No. Like, I don't care it if he can worse. Well, how? Because he's not a leader. You're just, Pujols is just a player. He's just like, he just like. Someone else would have been the leader. He's just part of it. No, that's what you Thank don't Thank you, understand. Maggio. That's a Giants fan. No, that's what you don't get it. You put a better hitter over Jeter, they're worse. <laughs> Not necessarily. Yes, yes, they are. Anyone, who, anyone would agree with me if they're a Yankee fan. You give them a better hitter, they're they're actually going to be worse. I mean, it's like you, you it's you have to have the right mix of players. Uh, yeah, putting Pujols in that lineup only would have made Pujols better. Is what I'm saying. Yeah, but like. The Yankees also had like a spot at every position, like it was filled. Like they had a star they in every position. They made room for Albert. No, there, there's no. Yeah, room. they would have. They would have made room for Albert. We had Teixeira. We had. We! We! <laughs> what, are, what are you saying? <laughs> That's all you needed to say. The Yankees like filled up each position, like Robinson Cano. He's, he's not moving. You're, talk, you're talking A-Rod, different eras. Jeter. Here. What do you mean? That was the same era. <laughs> You're talking like the late 90s? No, I'm talking whenever. Jeter was the leader of all of it. Yellow Acuna. Nice, Jimmy. Last stack magic. Just because I'm saying we doesn't mean anything. (laughs) Definitely doesn't help your cause. I mean, when you do something that, like, no one's even close, it just bumps you up, in my mind. Yeah, I mean, his leadership. Like, why does Jordan get so much credit in basketball? Because, like, he's the best player plus yeah, everything right, else. Yeah, he changed the like, game, like, the shoes. It's one of those things that, like, you put Jeter on another team, and who knows? Like, none of us probably know him. You know? You put holes on any team in the league and we still would have known him. So? That's all, yeah. And it's like, I just think Pujols had a better career. I don't know. That's my only argument. But he's not a better Aqua player. Aqua of Salinas. You're, you're taking Jeter over Pujols any day. No, I'm not. You should be. <laughs> I said if I had to relive one of their careers, I would relive Jeter's. Exactly, Jude. The Yankees were like a real team. Blue of Triana for Cameron. The Yankees were a real team. Like, we're trying to fill out a roster of, like, superstars. That's something that you don't understand as a Marlins fan. Like, you have so many holes. The Yankees, it's like, oh, we maybe have one hole. We beat, we took down Jeter in 03. Their hole was that they weren't good enough. They're always loaded, and you have to have like someone like commanding it all, because the there's manager. so. No, it's it's Jeter. The manager. See a bunch of Hall of Famers. Who's gonna be in charge of them? <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm telling you, he's underrated. <laughs> underrated. That's insane, Karim. I don't even know how to. How to explain that? Karim's on my side. No, Karim hasn't hit a wood in twenty cases. Yeah, you you were too young. No, oh, three. I remember oh, three. You were just too young for all of this. Ninety seven. I don't remember. That's it. No other Hall of Famers. You were just a little too young. I was, yeah. Uh, I also said that. That I watched way more holes in my life than Jeter.
See, Karim's talking about exactly what I'm talking about. You can't understand unless you unless you saw it. Yeah, I know, I know. Like it doesn't sound real, but like it was. There's just nothing like it in baseball today. Yeah, there's not. There, 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 there's just not. I think Posey was a solid comp in the 2010s. He is, but like he wasn't even close in terms of like that. I made a I made an Instagram post about Jeter one time. So he's overrated on and off the field. <laughs> yeah, Posada. He was like Matsui. Posada's not a Hall of Famer. So you're saying you think he's probably properly rated, but you, that's why you like him? What's up, Balraj? What do you mean, Jude? I mean, it's yeah. You have to. There's nothing like it, honestly. Even since you've been alive, there's no like athlete that's been like it. Oh, Jude, I, I was actually looking at the list wrong. I'm wrong. The poll is wrong. I can't believe you idiots voted for the Marlins. The Marlins? What? <laughs> Obviously, it's the Yankees. I was looking at this list wrong. I genuinely thought it was the Marlins. I was looking at it this way. Instead of down. Honestly, the closest guy I would compare it to is like like Kobe, but like he wasn't at Kobe's level though. No, probably. he wasn't at Kobe's level. He wasn't. Kobe was a killer. But that's probably the closest thing you could compare it to. Where is this Jeter post? This is the one that Longoria commented. What did he say? You still have time to delete this. <laughs> <laughs> I said Jeter's overrated on and off the field. Off the field? That's just ridiculous. Well, that that just was in regards to like... The Marlins? Yeah, yeah. Obviously not with the ladies. No, if Bonds isn't in... A Rod can't be in. Jeter's first ballot. No one's gonna argue that. Is he in yet? Yeah. Exactly. One person voted no on Jeter. Yeah. Who else is unanimous like that? Rivera. That's what I'm saying. This is you don't get. The, this is I'm telling you. Who else will be unanimous? Probably. No. <laughs> he probably won't. Unless he has like steroid allegations, which I don't think he does. Who wouldn't vote for Pujols to make the Hall? What's up, Colts? I'm telling you, there's a reason that Jeter's unanimous. He was not unanimous. He was one off. I bet you, you want to make a bet that Pujols is at least two off? <laughs> yeah, what are we going to wait, five years for him to get in the Hall? Let's make a bet. The shot. Pujols is going to be unanimous. I don't know. I don't know how he wouldn't be. Yeah, I guess the Yankees, 98 through 2000. So they almost won four years in a row. Five years in a row. Jeter. Eric G. It is what it is. You're just a hater. I respect him, though. You don't. I do.